Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of division, specifically how we can start using a procedure called long division, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So a lot of times, students, you're going to get a division problem and it's going to be a known fact. 36 divided by 6. So that should be a basic fact. If you don't know what that is, you can always think of 6 times what is going to make 36, and your answer here is going to be 6. But what happens if you're faced with a problem that you know you need to divide? So let's say we're going to do 42, but this time we're going to divide it by 3. You might not know your facts of 3s all the way up to 42. So there's a process you're going to spend some more time learning in 4th grade called long division, but I'm going to introduce it to you here. So I need you to remember that there are a few steps. So we're going to take this, we're going to take this 3, that's our divisor, and we're going to put it outside what we call the division bar. And then what we're dividing into, that's the dividend that goes inside. So we're going to divide 3 into 42. And then we are going to ask ourselves a question. Does McDonald's sell cheese burgers? Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? That's just a little mnemonic to remember the steps for long division. So we're going to divide first, then we're going to multiply, and we're going to subtract, we're going to check, and then we're going to bring down if we need to. So does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? Remember that. So we're going to start with division. So we're going to take this three, this is our divisor, and we're always going to start with one digit at a time. So first divide 3 into 4. If it doesn't divide into 4, then we'll include the other digit. But divide will work here because 3 divides into 4 one time evenly without going over. If we did it twice, that'd be 6, and that's too large. So now we're going to multiply. We're going to multiply the number we just wrote, 1 times our divisor, 3. So 1 times 3 is 3. We're going to put that right underneath the 4 because we're only dealing with the 4. We haven't even looked at that 2 in the 1's place yet. Now we're going to subtract. So we've divided, we've multiplied. We're going to subtract 4 minus 3 is 1. Now we always got to check this number. Our difference has got to be smaller than the 3. If it's equal to the 3 or even larger than the 3, then we didn't do it right. we got to go back and we need to change the number that we divided into. But it is smaller than our divisor, so we're good. So we checked it. Now we're going to bring down this 2. Now we're going to deal with that 2, and the 1 becomes a 12. So now we're going to start all over again. Back up at the top, 3 goes into 12. 3 divides into 12. We're using this rather than the 42. Well, that goes in 4 times. Now we're going to multiply. The number we just divided, 4 times the 3, is going to make 12. And you could probably tell this is going to go in evenly. 12 minus 12 is 0. 0 is definitely smaller than 3. There are no more numbers to bring down, so we can circle it because we are done. So 3 goes into 42 14 times. Just to make sure, let's go ahead and use what we know of 2 by 1 multiplication. Let's check our work. 4 times 3 is going to be 12. We're going to carry that 1. And 3 times 1 is going to be 3. Add that 1 back in is 4. 42. So it looks like we have it. Now it's time for you to try. We have a new problem for you now. 90 divided by 6. Go ahead and pause the video, see if you can divide it, and then when you're done, unpause the video and check your work. So if we're going to divide, we need to remember does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? So we're going to divide first. 6 goes into 9 once. So we're going to multiply 1 times 6 is 6. We're going to subtract the 2. That's going to give us 3. Check. 3 is smaller than 6. Yes. And then we're going to bring down our zeros. Now we've got 6 into 30. That looks like that's going to work. 6 divides into 30 5 times. This 5 times the 6 is going to be 30. We're going to subtract. It's going to have nothing left over, which is wonderful. 0 is smaller than 6. And bring down. We're done. So 6 goes into 90 15 times. To double check, Let's multiply 15 times 6, the inverse operation. 5 times 6 is 30. We're going to carry that 3. 6 times 1 is 6. Add the 3 back in. That's 9. So that's how you start using long division. 